I'm Lala, and I'm getting married to Carmelo Anthony. Let's see. 15 layers. That's Carmelo's number, but that's too much cake. My dress is perfect. Now I just gotta fit in it. What else? We've got the flowers. Um, oh, and the menu. So many decisions. Ah, the ring. Now that is my style. All right, now here's the story of our special day. One of the toughest parts of planning a wedding is making the right decisions. This way everybody will be happy when the big day arrives. Even though I had Mindy, who's the best wedding planner in the world, there was still one battle that I knew I was gonna lose. What a band gonna be? Well, a band? Hey, a band is for old folks. Look it, it is not. Mel wants a band and that's the only thing he's asked for. But I wanted a DJ and I'm the bride. This became a huge issue and everybody was on Mello's side. I just could not hear the end of it. When I was growing up, had every girl dreamed to have a band. I didn't. I don't want a band. Right, but when you look back is at it your wrong wedding, if I put up a fight about it? Um, well, you're gonna be having to fight Mello and you're gonna have to fight me, so uh, do you think you're gonna win? No. And she wasn't alone. When we flew to New York to finalize the reception, I thought my girl Angie would have my back, but it didn't quite happen like that. Here's a sneak peek at some unseen footage of how crazy making that decision really got. I'll okay. defer to Angie. We yes, a band have is have special. Band. Old school, I no. band is, you gotta have a band. Yes. Yes. But I don't want the band playing like all old school. I don't like no. that. No, no, no. Beautiful. Oh, Angie, I love Angie. Angie, give me five for that. There I was, completely outnumbered, and I had to make a decision. We need the band for your father-daughter dance. I don't want it like that. <laughs> Tell me what you want. And I don't ask for a lot. I, I want my wedding to feel want. like a party and fun, and you, I don't want and when the band you see, the whole time. You have no faith in this band. No, I don't. I know you don't, but I do think the band's going to surprise you. All right. Of course. Am I becoming Bridezilla now? <laughs> so, I <laughs> So I caved in and let Mel have his band. And I gotta be honest, it was a lot of fun. So that brings me to my first lesson. Ladies, you have to let your man have some say in the details. And not every man is gonna have an opinion on the wedding, but when he does, you definitely should embrace it. Marriage is about compromise after all. Lots of you guys say you enjoyed watching the show because of my son, Kyan. He's very unpredictable. You never know what's gonna happen. What happened? I'm changing myself. How'd you do that? I didn't know. You peed all the way through here? You peed all, you walked all the way with the pee-pee? Yeah. Since Cayenne is so unpredictable. I will sit right here. And says the most crazy things. Whoa, whoa. I get to laugh all the time. Here's some fun stuff that you didn't get to see. Woo! Go ahead, work it out, Cayenne. Go ahead. Wow, look at that bird. Ah! This ball is heavy. No, it's not. Ooh, yay! <laughs> oh, he got you good. <laughs> <laughs> that's enough. Ah, that's too much. So Take some of mommy. I need a bit more. Ah. Let me get a towel. Stay right there. You put too much. Ooh, what do you want for lunch? Cookies. What about turkey and fruit? Yeah, and, and cookies. I'll get you one, okay? Give me two. Just one. If you're a good boy, then you can have another, okay? I'm a good boy. You got some money? Oh, oh see, see. <laughs> Lay that down. Aw, oh, shit. Cayenne, we're walking away. Your boat's right here in front of us. Right there? You're number 22. Let's go. Let's go. It's coming. Let's go. Here we go. You ready to take a bubble bath? Oh, yeah. With big bubbles? That's going to be cool. That's going to be cool? Yeah. Bobby. Yes. Bobby. Yes. Mommy. Yes. You want to go lay in the bed? Yeah. Go ahead. Why are you hiding? He you tried to get me. He tried to get me. I love you, baby. Love you. Luckily, I had Cayenne to make me laugh during this whole process. Another tip is, when you're putting together a wedding, don't get so stressed out to where you forget to laugh and actually enjoy the process. I'm so blessed to have such great friends because I'm able to talk to them about anything. And that's very important when you're going through such a happy but a stressful time. You remember when they first started dating? <laughs> and she tried to act like he wasn't dating him? <laughs> and you had a code name for him. <gasps> Do you remember that? Yeah. Wow. 
Melanie. Oh, it was Melanie. Melanie. I relied on my friends a lot. And here's some parts of conversations that you haven't seen. Now, this is like a whole new, exciting, you know what I mean? It's like right. almost like it gets kind of like spark right, new right. things up, you know what I mean? So I just think that when you stand there, it's gonna hit you. You won't pull me out, but you're gonna be like, yo, I'm gonna hit that, I'm gonna faint. I do. It's going down, I'm gonna hit the floor. It's a wrap. Sierra can always make me laugh. And Luda's a parent as well, so he's always asking about how Cayenne is doing. Y'all are not planning on having any more kids, that's what he's telling me. No. Really? Mm. You only have one kid. Don't put me in this. <laughs> like, You're the one getting married, like, though. You got to give Cayenne a brother or a sister. You sound like Mello. What is Cayenne talking about? Like, oh, he's, um, he's so excited. He's so ready for all this to happen. He's ready, but I don't think he really knows what's going on. He'll right. go, Mommy, your name is Vasquez. Daddy's name's Anthony, my name's Anthony, so that kind of stuff, oh, you know? It. I picked him up from school the other day. I meant to tell you this, and they told me, Kayam was in school singing, my chick bad, <laughs> my chick good. You know those schools are like, where is he learning uh, this stuff from? But I let him listen to that song. I don't mean the edited version is fine. It's pretty, it's all right, it's all good. It's always important to talk to people that can relate to you and understand what you're going through. Another tip, always surround yourself with good friends. Welcome back to Lala's Full Court Wedding, bonus edition. I'm taking a look back at my entire wedding journey and also showing you some never seen before footage. One of the best moments was my bachelorette party in Vegas, given to me by Kelly Rowland and Kim Kardashian. So Mel had a few surprises of his own for me that weekend. He flew us out there, decorated the plane, got me some nice gifts. There's a card. Oh, read it, what does it say? Babe. I want you to have a great time with the girls. I love you, Mel. Aww. Let's get the party started. My bachelorette party had all the things that I loved. We got to relax. I had my best friends there. But here's another thing that you did not get to see. I thought the surprises from Mel had stopped, but he had one more trick up his sleeve. So Melo brought you a gift. He undid it again. <laughs> he strikes again. Oh, wow. Woo! Wow. Wow. Oh, my God. That is so gorgeous. Oh, wait, hold on. And here's another tip. It's for ladies and guys. Just because you have a ring on your finger or you are getting married, never let the romance die. Nice. So, obviously, the biggest thing for your wedding is your dress. I had a Vera Wang dress that I absolutely loved. But when my mom came in town, I took her wedding dress shopping. I love this. Pink? I mean, I love it. A little cuckoo going on there. So leave it to me to turn what was supposed to be a fun outing with my mom into a complete wedding crisis. No, no, no. So one of the scenes that you didn't get to see is when I talked to my friend Trina. I definitely thought Trina was going to be on my side. What would you do if I told you I wanted to wear a pink wedding dress? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Unfortunately, she didn't quite have the opinion I thought she would have. I just wanted your opinion because I found a pink dress that I, like, love. Oh, la, come on now. Can't do it. No, you cannot do it. So go to the original Vera Wang white wedding dress? Yes, just be very beautiful and very pure. And very <laughs> yeah, me, you look up pure in the dictionary. My face is right <laughs> Why did I think you, the diamond princess, would have been the one that would have said yes to pink? But, uh, I don't think so. I'm not for the pink wedding dress. If you see me come down the aisle in a pink wedding dress, what are you going to do? What the trip you want to do? That's good. OK, I hear you. Another tip is always go with your first instinct. When you find a dress that you love, stick with it. The number one rule is do not shop for a wedding dress after you already found one. Now looking back, I'm thinking maybe it was my nerves that made me so indecisive, but I'm really glad I went with my first choice. What's today, baby? Daddy's birthday. So during all of this, Mel had his birthday. Daddy, buddy, have birthday cake. Work. Happy, happy, happy. Yay. And I definitely wanted to make sure it didn't get lost in the shuffle. That day was beyond chaotic. I had to drive around town and get things ready for the party, meet with the owner of Philippe's, and I had to get Mel a gift. 
And what you guys didn't get to see is I had to find an outfit in the middle of all the madness. Carl, what about this? Black leather skirt? I like leather. But it's not about me, of course, but still. What about this? No? Like, no? Look at, what about yeah. this one? For the party? Pool? And some heels? <laughs> or for the after party? <laughs> this is a nice color. Oh, that is really pretty. Black. I mean, we That's right up your alley. Yeah. Go. I just want to try it. OK. All right, I think we have enough to try on. OK, baby, I'm going to try my clothes on, and you have to tell me how they look. Come stand over here with us. Look at mommy. What do you guys think? Uh, nah. <laughs> I don't think it's cocktail chic, but I think it yeah, is Yeah, nice. it is pretty. With this split right here? Whoa. You in like yeah. a video from 1999 and Jodeci is singing on the desert. Casey's with, with the old school leg. Do you like this dress for mom? Yeah. Thank you, baby. Come on, go out here and see the next one. I'm going to have to get this. Come see the next one, guys. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Wow. Hi, Ann. Which one do you like better? I like that red one. The red one? Okay. So do you think it'd be cool if I wear it like this? The fact that I can't oh, even. Oh, oh, oh. Negative. Right. Yeah. That this looks is my great. Favorite. That looks That's good. Dope. That's cool. Okay, you're not. You're not faking us out. You're not faking us out. My next tip is, when planning a wedding, don't get so engrossed in the planning process that you forget important things that go on in your life. Yeah, look, I am clapping you yeah, up. Yeah. Mom looks good. good. Hey, everybody, you're watching Lala's Full Court Wedding, bonus edition. Marriage is the most important decision you can make in your life. It is the words at the ceremony that say, till death. <laughs> Do us part. <laughs> so before the big day, it's natural that a lot of people offer their thoughts about the whole thing. In addition to talking to my friends, I always go to my family when it's something big happening in my life. Being that y'all been married for 24 years, like what would, what advice would y'all give? <laughs> what kept us going together 24 years, side by side with that communication, is definitely 50% trust. And that's very important, that trust, man. I can trust my wife like you can trust me anywhere we, we at in the world. We trust each other. Biggest advice I have to give you, if anybody comes and tells you they saw Carmelo, unless you saw it, it never happened. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if I agree with that, but I'll keep it in mind. Because people that are jealous of your relationship will, say anything. will tell you anything. The best person I can go to for advice is always my mom. It's important that you guys are happy, and I think you guys are very happy. So right. to keep going and going and going in 10 years, and it's like, oh, well, you know, I'm not sure. Hey, if you're not sure, keep moving. All right. One thing about my mom is she's always going to give it to me straight. I really thought it was important to talk to the person that was going to marry us. So the day of the wedding, I sat down with Reverend Michael Eric Dyson. I wanted just to ask you, like, if there was any words of advice that you give people entering into a marriage. Well, you know? it's not easy. I mean, both of you are high profile. You got the whole world weighing in. So the advice I give is that you continue to nurture each other, take time to love each other. And I think for busy people especially, before you know it, he's over here, you're, you're over there, right. you're doing your thing, and then you're living in the same house, but you're not living in the same relationship. Right, you know? right. So as long as you know each other's hearts, that's, that's the bottom line. most important. After five years of being engaged, Mel and I decided it was time to get married. That doesn't mean that we still weren't nervous and unsure about some things. So it definitely helped me a lot to have friends to go to to offer their advice and guidance. And then it finally came, the wedding day. I was nervous, I was excited, there was so much going on. It definitely was crazy. Up until the very last second, I was still making decisions about my final look. We need the veil. We, we need the veil. veil. We need to see the veil. You can see the veil. OK, the veil is coming through. I originally planned on having my hair up until I tried on the veil. Should I just leave it down, hanging nice, or do this half up, half down thing? I'm on the fence. Then try, can we you see try it down, down real fast? Can we do we'll that? See it can we do that? Can we see it down? Yeah. Okay. okay. Sorry, Crystal. Oh, you know this oh, is Oh, it's not your moment, honey. No, okay, honey. Whatever you want. You want to go other people? Okay. Do you think down? I, I think so. I think down. I just feel more comfortable. Oh, yeah, I think stuff. down and this is. I do what like you're down. comfortable Exactly. This yeah. is down. Yours. Down. Yeah, down. down. You'll have more than enough things to worry about on your wedding day, so if you want to change something at the last minute, just go ahead and do it. You definitely should remain flexible. Welcome back to Lala's Full Court Wedding Bonus Edition.
When it was time for me to walk down the aisle, I was very nervous. And then I saw Mel standing up there, and I just couldn't believe after all these years, it was finally happening. And then we sealed it with a kiss. It was absolutely perfect. Mel and I were traditional when it came to the fact that we did not see each other the night before, we did not see each other before the wedding, and we wanted to wait till after the ceremony to do our pictures. So what you didn't see is while we were taking pictures and our guests were enjoying cocktails, Mindy Weiss and Ed Libby and their entire staff were transforming the ceremony into the reception. They had to move the altar, set up tables, polish the dance floor, and they only had a couple minutes to do it. Something's on fire. I smell something burning. Maybe one of the table numbers. And by the time I got down there, I was so impressed. It looked like a completely different room. On behalf of myself and Mel, we just want to thank everybody for coming out. My husband, I can say that. One thing I learned from my wedding day is it goes by that fast. So my next tip is make sure you enjoy your day and take a moment just to soak it all in. I definitely made sure I enjoyed my party. This whole journey was absolutely amazing married my best friend, and I couldn't be happier. I really hope you enjoyed looking back with me and getting to see some stuff that you didn't see before. Before I go, here's some fun moments from my show. Thank you so much for watching Lala's Full Court Wedding. It means the world to me. What exactly are we doing for entertainment? This is going to be edited, right? If it was up to me, I wanted like a bunch of strippers jumping around and stuff. <laughs> this show wasn't free, baby. <laughs> <laughs> You like that, right? You like that? <laughs> Hanging, chilling. Ooh, you run the red light. Yeah. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, you done got fancy with the bra. Ah, my shoes. Can't even walk. Ah! You can't even. Hey, come on. <laughs> Y'all like vultures on that. Now, if I, if I did that to you. No! Touch me! <laughs> You're a fucking idiot! <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're about to get married. And this pillow looks like my hair. This machine damages in between my legs. Well, you're about to get married, so you're not going to be using that anymore. <laughs> you know what this is? What? It's me throwing in the towel. <laughs> the show is over. It's done. It's done. <laughs> <sighs>